Hey guys, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today I'm gonna to be making Southern Pecan Pralines. So I'm taking a break from cakes this week because I have been dying to make this recipe. I'm so lucky because my in-laws actually live in Savannah, Georgia and I absolutely love that city. And my favorite thing in Savannah is definitely the pralines that you can get there. So I was there during Christmas and I knew I was gonna wanna make some pralines for my channel. So also I'm super excited because I have been waiting to wear this apron for like four years. I got it on my first trip to Savannah and this is the perfect episode to finally reveal this super cute apron. So pralines can be a little bit intimidating um, when you first wanna try them, but they're actually really easy as long as you know the right tricks and tips, which I'm gonna make sure to give you guys. So I'm gonna go over the different ingredients that we are going to need for this recipe. And the full recipe is also going to be in the show notes. So we have three cups of brown sugar, a quarter cup of butter, two cups of toasted pecans, so these pecans were toasted at 350 for about eight minutes, stirring once in between. I have one cup of heavy whipping cream. I have one teaspoon of vanilla and two tablespoons of light corn syrup. But the most important thing for pralines is the candy thermometer. You cannot make this recipe correctly, in my opinion, without this. So if you don't have one, definitely invest in a candy thermometer. So I'm gonna set aside my pecans and my vanilla because I need these later. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put in my three cups of brown sugar, my quarter stick of butter, my cup of heavy cream, and my two tablespoons of white corn syrup. So you're gonna see I am putting everything into a big um, heavy bottom pot. You could also use a Dutch oven for this. And I'm going to bring this to a boil over medium heat and I'm gonna be stirring constantly. And here is where I'm going to put in my candy thermometer. And I want this to reach 236 degrees. So I'm gonna be watching it very closely. And the thing about the candy thermometer is you do not want it to touch the bottom of the pot. So if you feel the bottom, you're gonna lift up a little bit. You just want it in the liquid, but not touching the bottom. So I'm going to stir constantly until this reaches a boil. So you can see this has reached a full boil and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start stirring occasionally and this is the most important part. I'm watching my candy thermometer and as soon as it gets to 236, I'm gonna remove this from the heat. So as soon as this reaches 236, I'm going to remove it from heat. And so what we're doing next is really important. We are actually gonna wait for this to go back down to 150 degrees. So that takes about 20, 25 minutes. So we're just gonna wait for this to cool down. So this is just about to hit 150 degrees. And as soon as it does, I'm gonna add my pecans and my vanilla. I'm gonna stir really fast, just for about a minute to mix everything in. And then I'm gonna start spooning out the pralines. And this part, you do have to work really fast because they harden very quickly. So this just hit 150. So I'm gonna add my pecans and my vanilla. And I'm going to start stirring very quickly just to mix everything in. And I'm gonna feel this start to thicken up. And I'm gonna start spooning my pralines. So my pralines have been spooned out and you can see they do cool really quickly and they're already ready to go. And I do hope that you guys enjoyed this episode and that you guys try to make pralines as well. They're one of my favorite candies in the entire world and everybody loves them. Mm -hmm.